Hey, good morning. Uh, I just want to touch base with everybody here. As these things come up, I just like to get them out. And I've talked about this many times before, but just when it comes to purchasing a house, don't do this. And what am I talking about? Um, don't go out and purchase a new car after you get the pre-approval because then the pre-approval is no longer good. Then, then the numbers have to be reworked again. We have to pull things out. We have to look at different things. Uh, and see if the debt to income ratio is going to affect it. Okay, here's a little trick. All right, if you have a spouse or if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, and either one of you can qualify for that car loan, okay, but one of you can also qualify for a loan, then one of you just go get the car loan and put it under that person's name, not both, and the same thing for the house. Okay, so if you absolutely need a car, okay, first call us, you know, if somebody's been pre approved. Or call your lender, your current lender, and so forth, and say, hey, listen, should I do this or, or not? They should tell you up front not to do anything. Keep everything status quo until after you purchase. But if you have to, if your car has broken down and it's, it's not good, uh, and, and it's definitely time to, to get a new one, uh, try to do it under your boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, you know, just one name, and then the other person can qualify for the house. If they can do that, same thing with a spouse, okay? This comes up time and time again. This is why financial education should be taught in schools, but that's a whole nother video. That's a video serious uh, that I can, uh, you know, pretty much go through for probably, you know, three, 365 days out of the year. So anyway, I won't go there. Just a little tip, just a little reminder. I know it's simple. It's not, hey, this is a great guideline here that we have that you can do this. No, I got those coming, but I just want to throw this reminder out. Uh, do not purchase a vehicle if you are looking to purchase a house okay and the average vehicle price is just over 500 bucks a month so it could be a huge dent to see if you can buy a house and they can really force you from getting into a market and, and having an appreciation and now you're buying something that's depreciating and now that's going the other way instead of you going this way all right hopefully that makes sense got any questions comments uh down below shoot me a private message or shoot me a text at 423-262 9229. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks.